We're down here chasing garfish off our local rock wall, Marina Harbour in that area. Now we've got our icy tech bag here. Full of ice. A little bit of bread. A little split shot here. A nice little float, a little shore catch one there. Um, some 10 pound litre. And the outfit's just a little team diver rod, four to 10 pound, nice and tippy, to, um, nine foot, little 2,500 reel. Chuck some burly out. Just a heap of garfish just here. Let's cast him out. We want a nice soft tip rod. There we go, little tail. And there we go. And there's a beautiful garfish ready to go. Come here, mate. Hooked in the corner of my mouth. And then what we do, chuck him straight on ice. So he's ready for the next one. Heap of scales come off him, so they can't, can't really release him easily. But let's get another one. Rebait up and go again. Easy as that, guys. It's just a bit of fun. We'll get our few here and We'll probably cry back them up for bait this lot. Now we've got a fair bit of southerly breeze blowing today, so that's why I'm in a little pocket here on the northern side. And down, and there we go again. Oop, come off. Bread on. Yeah, you can also use some cut bait, flesh bait, which is probably a little bit better, but I haven't got any at the moment, so bread's gonna be it. Watch your float. There it goes down, and there we are on C. And another great garfish. But they're the hooks I use. They're not quite a long shank and they're not quite they're not a short shank either, so but it's a great hook for the garfish. Mm. Now you can do this in most places along the east coast. These garfish come around and you put the time in and find them and you'll catch them. What we might do is chuck a bit more burly in and Bring him back to us. That's, Burley's a key with garfish. There's gar there. There's other fish here. So normally I like to cast away from the rocks a bit. Get away from all the little stuff on the edge here, like brim and other little wrasse and bits and pieces. So they normally cast it out a bit further. The gar normally sit out that little bit further. And I don't use a big float. A lot of people use pencil floats and stuff, but I found just this little clip-on one works well for me. But you can see gar all flicking all through here. Like I said, I'll do a big cast over where I've seen them jumping. That's the advantage of a nine foot rod. You just cast them out where you want. And especially if you're standing on a bit of higher ledge, the longer rod really helps. You wind it in slowly too, sometimes. Get a bite doing that, and we'll flick it in, but we'll get some more burly out there to bring them to us. So you got a bit of bread, you don't need much. Scales from the garries. So you don't need much. All you do is just throw little handfuls out there. And you'll see there's a few sweeping that in there close here but now the garries are coming in so there's a heap of garries just all here I'll throw a bit more out get them excited I'll put a bit of bread on look it out no. and there we go amazing what Burley does And then hooked in the mouth perfectly. Chucking him on the ice. Ice is a big key, guys. Cast him out there. Watch your float. There he goes. And hooked up again. Oop. Dropped him. So much fun. This is a great thing for your kids. You bring some kids down here, have some fun. Especially this time of year. No swell really much at the moment. But always remember, be careful on the rocks. 
baits out there are on. And some great gar. Look at them all here, you see all the gar through there everywhere. And they come to the float. Watch your float go down. Oh, now this is like, this is where you don't go too close to the rocks. You get fish like these fellas. Like that, so they're the ones we don't want. But, fill in a couple of hours guys, this is a whole lot of fun. And like I said, anyone can do it. Watch your float, there it is. And there's your garfish. Now time of day, I don't really think it matters too much to be honest. I know a lot of people they say get here early in the real early in the morning and stuff, but time now is one o'clock in the afternoon. I've got to go to work in a few hours, so I thought I'd just pop down and have a bit of fun. Oh. long beak with a bit of red on it and there's a little tiny mouth that's why you need nice long shank hooks to get them in there normally you hook them in the corner of the mouth here but there's a good little shot see what they look like and there we go great little gar and another one Guys, if you're liking this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Let's get back into it. You see them all over there, and... Nothing better than that. And these things, they jump around crazy. They're like a little marlin, mini marlin garfish, I call them. But it's always good fun catching these fellas on this really super light gear. Little pencil one. Let the little ones go. That's a better one. There's a better one. They thrash around, that's why they throw hooks a bit. But there we go. Another one. See if we can get one more here. Oh yes, fighting so much fun on this light gear. And look at them all coming with him. Oh, great fun. Jumping. Ah, so much fun on the light gear. Oops, there he goes. He needs to fight another day, that one. I got him. Oh, yes. Oh, I could just catch him all day. Just a bit of fun. Another little 
one, we'll let him go. Great fun little session there. If you enjoyed this video catching garfish, don't forget to check out these ones here. But until next time, enjoy what I enjoy, fishing, camping and cooking the catch. See you guys.